what value of t to the nearest hundredth makes the equation 4 times 10 raised to the power of 3t equals 12 true. Now in order to solve this I'm going to use the quote unquote opposite of exponential form which is logarithms. So when I set this up the generic version of this problem I generally have a base and then I raise that to an exponent that's how exponential fun form works and then it's equal to a value. In this case the base matters because it becomes the base of the logarithm and then I'm just flipping it around so I have x here equals y. So really you sort of uh, in, in many ways it's already being promoted here but then you give it its own spot in the log form. The base is still kinda just riding piggyback to everything else and the x just kinda moves where you need it to. So that's the nature of it. That's how you flip those around. Now let's look at the problem in, at hand. In step one there's no reason to get cute. It's times four of this entire term so let's just say how do I get rid of times four? We'll just divide. Much easier to deal with. Now, this is my base. The cool thing about that, and by cool I mean sort of thank goodness for a test purpose, it's a log of base 10, which is a very common log. It's what your calculator uses when it says the log button. It's using a base 10. And then this thing goes from being promoted up here to getting its own spot. And then this one gets demoted back down to hanging out with log. It's just a bump on a log. So let's go ahead and do the calculator work and then you can be done with it. If I can get the calculator to do what I want, which would be a nice change of pace. Here we go. Back for more. And I'll just erase this out of the way. And I'll be ready to go. So now I'm ready to solve uh, this set here and I should have also mentioned that I'm trying to get this t by itself so I'll just divide this by 3 so t is equal to is what I'm looking for so I'm gonna set this log 3 and like I said you can actually set logs with different base values in the math menu but there's no reason to here log is already with a base 10 it even tells you that 10 to the x is the exponential uh, inverse of it, so blop blop. Um, so I just put the 3 here and set that up and then divide that by 3, hit enter and get 0 0.159 and they want me to round to the nearest hundredth. So Here's the hundredth, so I look at the one after it. Five or more raise the score, so I am going to raise it, so it's 0 0.16. That is my answer to this question. So, like I said, at the very end of a section, that's kind of a not a fun problem to do. But try to get your exponential form by itself. And if in any way you can remember, it's in your best interest to say, okay, if I have exponential form, my base is always my base. I'll promote y. Right now, uh, x is equal to y being promoted. So once it's promoted, it moves into its own office. x is just a bump on a log, but the base is always the same. I feel bad if, in case they don't give you a log base 10, go into math if you're using the T84 you can either click down or you can just for somehow or somehow or other remember that it's A. Hit enter and then you can just type in all your stuff. Um, so if, where I'd done that before I could put whoops, log is base 10 and then 3 and then I'll divide all that by 3. And I'll get the same answer. So there you go. Number 22.